today oh, <laughs> we're just gonna give you a quick update about our glamping hi guys I'll uh, just run through what's happening with the glamping structure uh, what's happened is we put the tent in here and it looked horrible, <laughs> uh, not matching the native uh, cottage at all. Um, maybe if you stuck a yurt type tent in here, it might look okay. But So we decided uh, not to go ahead with the glamping. And Leah came up with a good idea because she looked at it and thought, she was a bit upset uh, about <laughs> the structure not being right and not being what she uh, what she, what she thought it would be, you know. And so she was uh, upset the first day uh, about it, uh, thinking it was an ugly structure. And then she came up with an idea of turning it into a margarita bar turning it into a, a, a nice little um, recreational area where people can sit and they can see the pool, they can see the view and it was a good idea. Uh, so that's what we're doing now, we're turning it into a margarita bar um, and it will have uh, refrigeration, uh, people will be able to order their meals from the restaurant here and they can sit here and have their meals and have their cocktails as well so um, what we're doing is uh, we're, we're putting in uh, bar height benches uh, around the structure uh, with um, slabs of um, Jumilina. Jumilina on top that will be stained and varnished and we will also be building a counter for uh, behind the bar so there will be a separate um, bar area with refrigeration where people can order their drinks and um, they can have uh, bar food uh, made but it'll also be like a mini sari sari it will sell you know potato chips and um, snackies ice uh, cream ice cream um, we will have an ice cream refrigerator so basically the, the restaurant is a long way from the pool and people um, don't use the restaurant so this is a gateway to the restaurant people will come here they will see the menu uh, they will see what's available uh, and and eventually we want to have a pizza. wood fire pizza Mm -hmm. So oven and we want to do a wood fire pizza to sell to the people so that really goes well with bars, cocktail bars, nice mm. wood fired pizzas mm. and nice cold San Miguel. Then this will be nice here too looking out into the, uh, to the sea and also to the garden and the, um, the swimming pool and we plan to put to uh, raise the um, rock wall yeah so we're raising the rock wall uh, and putting a concrete uh, slab on the top for a, a seat and then we'll I've got a nice big uh, mahogany slab that's about or two foot wide by about eight foot long and I want to make a table out of that so the table will go up against uh, that side um, so that people can sit in chairs on the other side so it'll be like a, a the stone wall will be like a bench seat so people can sit there and sit at the table so we've got um, Dusing and Inad constructing the ploy was as well but uh, he's having a bit of time off um, so they're constructing the other gazebo. Number seven. Number seven. And uh, we've used Kogan uh, for the ridge caps and for the ends. So there's a lot of Kogan incorporated in that, which has been a pain in the butt for, <laughs> for, for me 
carting it in the car and also for the workers because Kogan is very difficult to work with and time consuming. And it's very itchy too. So the it's gazebo has taken much longer to build with the Kogan so we won't be, we'll be limiting the amount of Kogan we use only for just the trimmings around the bottom. So what we're doing with this uh, gazebo is we didn't uh, put a centre post in. Um, the post that's there is just temporary, supporting while they're working on the Kogan. So it's uh, it will be all open in the middle, which means if someone wants to camp in here with a with a tent, they can set the tent. They can take the table out and they can set up a tent in here, and they're protected from the uh, elements. So what we're doing with the seating is different to the other ones. We're putting in slats of uh, cut bamboo, which is uh, much more comfortable to sit on than like the other ones have just got three bamboo, um, three pieces of bamboo that you sit on, um, and just a bamboo backrest. Uh, that'll, that'll be the same, but the seating will be different. It'll be lower and it will be slatted so it's much more comfortable for people to sit on, sit on. So that's the seating arrangement in here but Dusing and uh, Inad um, doing a very good job and... We're nearly finished on the roof. So. Yeah, the roof is nearly finished. You can see uh, a bit of a skylight up there um, but that will be all closed in and it will have a uh, clay pot mounted on the top at to seal it. We're getting a lot of wind at the moment hanging and it's very windy. Um, the last uh, week it's been like that but uh, this gazebo has got nice views looking into the gully and it will also look out um, past the bar and you can still see uh, parts of the ocean. So yeah, it's it's gonna be quite unique um, looking down into the gully and onto the nice- uh, It's very windy. <laughs> onto the nice grass, the um, Bermuda grass we have growing here. Mm. What do you reckon, Bray? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Pretty good? Nice. Nice. Nice seat. Very comfortable. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in our next vlog, bye bye!